morning world yes good morning i still don't have a name for you guys <laughs> but comment below what you guys want me to call y'all like first of all thank you guys for tuning in thank you for your support and love and continue watching my channel because it's gonna be a plus you never know what you get right but i really don't know what to call you guys so let me know let me know what you want me to call you but as you can see i got these bags packed and i'm on my way to somewhere i'm gonna see i believe this is about to become my second home but y'all gonna see just wait, just wait just wait you know i got y'all y'all know i got y'all lady gator Hey y'all, I know you're wondering where I'm at, right? Well, 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 well. Just gotta still wait and see. Cause now that I'm in my room, and I am swinging on my beautiful swing. I am in Cancun, Mexico, y'all. So, for everybody that's watching, I've been here before, but I never got a chance to vlog or really just like showcase what was here, right? So I'm back again, and as you saw in the last clip, or maybe after this, uh, here is the preview of my room. This time around, I am actually staying in a hotel. Last time I stayed in an Airbnb. But I'm about to hurry up and get dressed because I am hungry. I am hungry. And I know I love to eat, y'all. And I'm just so happy because this way, y'all, y'all, just know, like, I cannot stop swinging on this. Like, I ain't going to swing too much because I don't need my ass to be falling and dropping. To, but let me just show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. Ready? You ready? Let me show y'all something. Look at my view. Y'all, the mall is literally in my backyard. I have a Ferris wheel. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, y'all. I cannot wait to see it. So for those who's about to ask, like, where's your actual pool? Well, this is definitely not the pool right there. That is definitely not the pool. The pool's on a rooftop, and y'all already know I'm about to, <laughs> y'all already know what time it is. But my, I have a mall in my backyard. I'm done talking. I'm done talking. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Bye. All right, y'all. So I'm back again in Cancun, Mexico. Like I told y'all before, this was my second time coming here. And I had to come back. Like, I had to come back. So I just checked into my hotel. And I'm, your girl is hungry. Your girl is hungry. So I'm about to go to one of my favorite restaurants. I'm about to show y'all in the next clip. So... <laughs> But don't worry, because I'm still going to mess this fish up. I'm still going to mess this fish up. We did come late, so we probably got, like, the last little ones that was left. But look at my plate, y'all. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Mexico and y'all it's raining like November if you're coming in November it's raining it is raining but we're gonna try to get our day started and y'all peep in the face y'all peep in the face yes but it's raining I'm on some chill stuff right now we're hungry we haven't ate breakfast I haven't ate breakfast yet so I'm about to go find something to eat and we see y'all so I found the hidden gem and I'm so excited. The next clip, I'm gonna show y'all what he did. Like, I was trying to catch you on my Snapchat, so, I mean, my Snapchat, my Instagram story, so I couldn't really record it, but what he did was dope. And this drink, mm, 
I'm gonna show y'all my food, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all my food. And I'm gonna, of course, y'all already know I'm gonna put the hidden gem on here. But just know what he did. Watch the next clip, y'all. Watch the next clip. <laughs> hey. Y'all, my drink is on his head. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I don't know about y'all, but I thought that was really cool. He served all my drinks like that. So right here, I'm looking at the lobster tacos. I tried them, and it really wasn't all that. But for my main course, I had, like, some grilled shrimps, which was really seasoned well. And all of this was just so good. Check this place out, y'all. All right, y'all. So if you're trying to come to Mexico in November, just please remember it is hurricane season. So it's going to be a lot of rain. So you 9 out of 10, anything that you wanted to do, like outside excursions, water excursions, you're really not going to be able to do it because it's raining like shit. Excuse my face. And it's not going to be no fun, right? So now I have to find alternatives on what I'm going to be doing my little weekend. Yes, like I said, it is my second time in Cancun, Mexico. I feel like this is my second home and I love it here because the people are great. The atmosphere is great and everything about it. This is my first time in a hotel in Mexico because I'm usually in an Airbnb. But what I will say is make sure you have some drinks. Make sure you just, you're here for the relax. For me, I'm just here to relax. I'm just chilling. But I am going to find an alternative on what to do. Right now, I'm about to head to the pool. Like, I'm going to take my little drink. I'm going to head to the pool, relax in there for a second. And then I'm going to go back outside because even though a lot of people, what I've realized, people be saying like vacation, you should be turning up. No, vacation, you should also re, um, unwind and just enjoy. Just enjoy. Forget about work. Forget about school. Just enjoy. So, a lot of y'all may not like this video because I'm not showing y'all adventurous stuff. Well, I'm in November and it's Cancun in November and it's hurricane season. So... Oh well. <laughs> yeah. So remember I said, cause it's raining so much in Cancun, I had to alternate what I'm gonna do. So right now I'm about to head to the pool and just like relax, enjoy myself. Because one thing I realized I don't do on vacation is really relaxing and take in the beauty that I got. So I'm about to just go upstairs, relax on the rooftop. And you already know, you already saw the rooftop from the last clip. So I'm gonna relax, drink some more drinks, and just be in the hot tub, the jacuzzi, the pool, everything in the above. I'm on my army type style right now because I just feel like I'm in a, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, um, y'all, one thing I encourage everybody to do, if you go on vacation, it's not all about the excursions. Take some time to just self-reflect, self-relax, and self-enjoyment. And those are three different things. And I want you guys to just, like, really just take in the culture that you're seeing. So, I'm out of here for now. I'll probably take some clips when I'm at the pool. But Lady Gator, good morning, everybody. This is day three of my trip. And um, as you can see, my other trips or anything I post is more like activities and stuff. But as I told you guys, it is November. It is hurricane season in Cancun. And let me turn on my TV. It is hurricane season in Cancun. And I really had to make adjustments alternatives i have to just like try to figure out what i'm gonna do because everything i love to do is literally um deals with water or outside events right and that's what mainly everything they have here is outside things so <laughs> i'm adjusting everybody and honestly i've been to cancun before so it's not like oh my gosh it's a must need for me to do something um extreme or adventures but it would have been nice to do it let me let me show y'all this is really the oh no oh no oh no 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 wait i'm about to show i'm about to show i'm about to show y'all i'm about to show y'all so this is the view right now outside of my room i'm not opening the door but as you can see it's like it's raining 
It's really bad. It's raining so bad. It's crazy because I was really supposed to go on this yesterday, but didn't get a chance to. But it's really gloomy. Really gloomy. It's supposed to be a hundred percent rain. Yes, outside of my hotel in the backyard is literally the um one mall. There's one. There's like five malls around me. But it's really gloomy. And I will let y'all know this. When I first came to my scope, I did a excursion. It was a boat ride and do snorkeling. It was raining also like this really bad. And guess what? Just know it was I'm gonna show y'all some um, videos or some pictures because I thought your girl was gonna die that day. Cause baby, whoo, I don't recommend nobody do no water sports when it's raining like this. Like no water sports because you literally are fighting the tides and it is very dangerous. But I'm gonna make the best of it y'all. I'm gonna make the best of it today. Good morning y'all, so. All right, y'all saw how the morning was starting for me. It was raining like crazy. Um, I'm up now. I'm finally dressed. And I'm heading to lunch. That's the first thing on my agenda. It's lunch. Y'all, this is why I came back to Mexico. There's a place called Fish Patanga. And I'm about to show y'all. Like, I'm super excited to eat there. Because the girl's hungry. And, whoo! I can't wait to eat. I can't sing, so I ain't gonna try to, but the sun is, it's not out for real, but it's not raining, so listen, thank you, Lord. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm sitting down. As you can see, the scenery is nice. It's a, it's a natural glow right here, so I got me a um, passion fruit mojito on the rocks, and it's really good. They use fresh passion fruit. Like it's sweet and mm. I already ordered my appetizer, my food. I'm waiting for that to come out. For right now, they did give us a basket of like of um, homemade chips and a different sauces. So I'm excited. Mm. This is really good. This is really good, y'all. Y'all, yeah, my food came in. Y'all know I get so excited for my food to come. Let me show y'all my food. Let me show y'all my food. Let me show y'all my food. All right, when you come to El Fish for Tanga, you got to ask for the red snapper. You get to choose your fish. And y'all, y'all would think it costs a lot to eat here. It's really cheap. And it's it's good. It's so good. Like, this fried red snapper, man, and ask for a lot of lime. Let me tell you, this fish had no chance. Do you see this? Nothing left behind. Everything had to go. And you got to ask for a lot of lime because I like to sprinkle lime on my fish. It's just, mmm. Hey, y'all. So let me tell y'all about how Fish for Tango knocked me the hell out. <laughs> Um, it was so good, but it's very filling or whatever, and it really knocked me out. It knocked me out. So now that I have refreshed, I'm rejuvenated, I'm about to go get me a drink from a place called Baby Lobster in one of these little malls. And then I'm going to go on the Ferris wheel because it's literally in the back of my hotel. And I'm like, yo, I want to go on this Ferris wheel. Y'all gonna see what I'm talking about when y'all gonna see this Ferris wheel. Like, it's not no average Ferris wheel, so I'm gonna go on it. So, and um, let me get this lobster. I made it to Baby Lobster, and um, okay. And I literally just came in for a drink because this one right here could make a good drink. This could make a good drink. It's in one of the malls that um that's by us. And y'all, I didn't realize how good the food smelled. The food smells amazing. But I'm trying to wait because tonight I'm going to like a Thai, um, Asian cuisine type of restaurant. And I'm excited to try that. Something more on the upscale um, scenery. But I just need a drink. I just need a drink. I just woke up. I need a drink. I need a drink. Hey, y'all. So it's dinner time and I'm at Taboo tonight. And I'm so excited to come in here. So, yeah. Taboo and the 
amazing, y'all. The ambience is amazing. It's low lighting in here, so you can't really see it, but it's okay because it is so beautiful in here. I'm super excited, and we are about to start with some little observes that they have came with us. First and foremost, I'm going to tell y'all right now, you're going to spend a little penny to eat here, but it's totally worth it. Like, you are literally paying for the experience, and you cannot come here looking like anything. You must dress up a little bit and give that earthly tone vibes. Like, the experience, like, do you see? He is putting fire on my fish. I ordered fish, um, of course, salmon to eat. And just how they just sell you and entertain you. And just, it's, oh, look at that beauty. Everything. And you know what? I actually was full. I was really full eating this food. So, and then they had live entertainment. It turned into, you. they had people standing on chairs and just like waving the towels. Y'all, Tabu Cancun did me right. Like, do y'all see this party atmosphere going on? Good morning, y'all. So today's the last day, and before I get my day started, I'm definitely about to go get my COVID test so I can get back into the United States. Um, yesterday was amazing. Overall, yesterday was amazing. So hit the top. Yes, I have every color. Literally, I have every color. I love it. I love the little bags. So let me go get COVID testing. I'll catch y'all later. All right, y'all. So this is my last full day, and I just finished doing my COVID test. They do um, do it for you. Like, they got to do it for you, and they go all the way back. But it's only one nostrils, and it's only 500 pesos, $30 U.S. money. That's for the um, the 30-minute test. And then the PCR is $90. But to come back to the U.S., you only need to take the one that's 30 minutes. So... If you're traveling in Cancun or whatever, that's something good to know. And also, you can either do it through your hotel or they do have certified COVID test taking um, like booths on the streets. And that's where I took mine at. And they are CDC and FDA approved. So um, you can take it there because it's cheaper. So they're going through your hotel. Right now, I'm about to go get some food, some lunch. It's still kind of morning time, but your girl's hungry. And then I'm going to head to the movie theaters. Yes, I want to try um, Mexico movie theaters because it's way different from what I've been seeing online. Different experience. And what you get and what you're able to get at the movies is different. So I'm excited. And as you can see, it's a really nice day outside. It's really nice. <laughs> This is the only day that I had since I've been in Mexico where it's a sunny, beautiful day. So I'm about to enjoy today. The girl's gonna enjoy today. And y'all, so here's another hidden gem. It's like mad restaurants in it. So. This is what I tried the other time while I was here. So y'all can't get a view like I tried this one and then um we're going across and today see today now they not jumping how it was but My drink came, y'all. So pretty. Okay. That's what you call a Bahama Mama. For real, for real. Y'all. So y'all already know I had to try the fish that was there. I love my red snapper. And do you see how deep fried this thing is? Like the plating was so good, so delicious. And this, I ain't gonna lie, I love me some fish for tanga. But listen, the Lighthouse Cancun restaurant have yeah gave fish for taking a run for his money hey y'all so remember when i told y'all that i wanted to go to the movie theaters in mexico i had to check it out so i'm super excited i'm about to go see eternals 
okay and y'all i'm gonna give y'all a review on how the movie theater is in mexico i came to one that's like a center Bistro. if y'all ever been to that that's like the dining movie theaters so i'm excited i'm gonna give y'all a little tour around how the movie theater look and just yes so i'm at the movie you guys want to get seats huh Thank you. This is my first time at it. I'm going to get it to Mexico. Forever, you know. As you guys can Move see. Move in with him. Okay, Move in with you. It's in English, y'all. Don't get it to us. It's in English. Okay. Okay, they do not speak English. Okay. Shit, is that genius? Okay. What? All right, y'all. So, I just finished the movies. And let me give y'all an honest review. First off, the data was hot as hell. The data was hot as like nobody's business i was hot and then towards the end that's when they started putting on the ac i was like y'all now want to put on the ac your girl was hot and then when the ac came on your course you know got really cold so i was prepared because i had my handy dandy um blanket with me i always go to the blanket i always take a little blanket for me to we did this but um they have very if you like i said if you've been to cinema show or one of those dining movie theaters this is actually better. Why? Because they give you way more options. Way more options. Like the menu is nice. The seats were bigger. Climax seats. But it was bigger. Like, oh my God. Overall, I love the movie. Y'all go see Internal. The movie was good. The data was hot in the beginning. I wasn't feeling that. But overall, it was a, it was a cool experience. It was a cool experience. And I'm happy I did come. So... On to the next. It's later. This is my last day. Now I'm hungry. And you know I gotta eat. Your girl gotta eat. Your girl gotta eat. Mexico been real. This trip, I could tell, was really relaxing. It wasn't a lot of... I was... This rain had me messed up. But I'll see y'all later, all right? Y'all, this is the closing of my trip. I'm ending it in Fish for Tanga. And y'all, it's been very relaxing. And you know, besides it raining every day... I had no complaints with Mexico. I really don't. But it's been real. Thanks for watching this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for always supporting. And remember, I don't know what to call y'all. So, you know, write some names down. Which I want me to call y'all, whatever the case may be. This trip was very short. It wasn't a long trip. So you guys didn't get to see the excursions or anything. And besides, it was raining every day besides today. That's nothing but God. But y'all see that beautiful sunset right there, though? Yeah, that's what's up. So, later, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Later.